I've been meaning to post this one for a bit. It's just a quick chat. Basically, just reminding people if you're getting into the industry now, if you're a business owner who wants to build anything, don't code. Avoid it. If you hire a developer and they want to still write code, don't hire them. And my point is this. It's getting too easy. And I'm not even talking AI. We can talk about that after. But it's getting too easy right now to build anything that a company needs. And I haven't been in a situation in six months where I'm like, yeah, I need to code that. And I do a lot. So this isn't theoretical. This isn't hype. I don't get any bonus from this. I actually lose work because of this. But then I get more work because I'm doing so much. And I can do so much more. Okay? So if you're new to this industry, though, don't code. Learn to build. We did not, I did not, no one I know got good at what they're doing by being amazing coders. Those are the people who can solve problems that no one has, right? Learn to solve the problems you have in the business owners. Learn to build things to solve those problems, to connect the dots for these people. I work for so many people that use tools that would never imagine to solve their immediate business needs, and I'm always blown away without code. So between tools like N8N and the license, the license is like $5,000 a year if you finally end up paying for it. The money it just saved you by not having that person code is pff, unbelievable. Most of these developers, that would be two weeks of work tops. So this isn't a money thing. This is just a, a lot of the developers I know are scared of letting go of code because they have some type of connection to it. But code is a means to an end to build things that solve problems, build things that make money, build things that save money for business owners who are willing to pay us. So no, it's not about scaling. It's not about enterprise. It's not about any of that. It's not about microservices. It's just some of this stuff will always be an argument because it's like almost like a religion. There's no black and white. We can't always say this is it. Not always. Very much not. So I, I realize what I'm going to say too is not that's it. I'm saying this is what I think. And I think a lot of people who are new to the industry or at my age and don't want to change, I wouldn't worry about it. Like, First of all, learn how to build. And if you already know how to build, then you're going to be 10 times as valuable because you're building more, you're orchestrating more, you're managing more, and not managing people, you're managing different projects and getting stuff done. So that's the that's just the gist of what I want to cover. Just a reminder, again, we didn't, I didn't, I happen to write in PHP. I didn't choose PHP. It just came around during a time when I was trying to solve a problem. I was curious, I was interested, I was making money because some person in an insurance company said build the system for me and that's when I had PHP. I didn't have Ruby, I didn't have Python. Later on I did Ruby on Rails for a bit. They are all got their things. But I was still building. I'm a builder. All of us are builders. If you're a developer who just writes code then you're missing the point. No one's paying you to write code. They're paying you to build something to solve a problem. Now I haven't mentioned AI too much because this isn't about AI. It's about tools like Superbase, N8N, Active Pieces, whatever is your thing to connect the dots. Slack integration, Google Sheets integration, Google Drive, Quicken, whatever that particular dot. Teams, bring it all together. No code, nothing. Integrations, don't force users into your thing. Bring their data around. But then we, and right now, I'm just blown away. I can use Bolt.new, I could use Lovable, I could use Cursor if I want, and build a nice UI. But I mean, with AI, so I just can do it. I don't even have to worry about it anymore. I don't have to have that tedious moment of whatever that was for me as someone who liked the UI but never was great at it. Now I'm just like, done. Good enough. It works. Customers are happy. Users are happy. I'm happy with the particular fact that it's getting the work done. So at that point, yeah, you, we can when we're forced, not forced, when we need to use or build something in the UI, then reach for the UI tools, the AI tools that build that quicker, like Bolt, or all those tools. I'm really enjoying Bolt right now, but I did it a while with Cursor because all of them seemed a little bit falling short, but now I'm really happy with it. And that's because I keep it on guardrail. So again, as a builder, I tell Bolt, we're using Superbase. This is, use that, use its real-time events. Don't do anything complicated. Read a row, write a row, update a row. Keep it simple, row level security. Let its events that it triggers talk to N8N and get the work done. Again, a builder, keep it simple. When you're done with a project, if you wrote code, ask yourself why. It's just that simple in my opinion. Right now, I haven't written, needed to write any code in, in, in three or four projects later, and I'm fine with that. I, I thought I would miss it, but I'm a builder, and it code's a great hobby, but 
I want to build things. Some things are stupid. Some things are great. Some things are very valuable to people. But that's it. Some people do enjoy coding as a hobby. That's fine. But it's no longer going to be what it was. And it never will be. Not just because of AI, though, but just because all these tools are here and they're doing really well and they've proven themselves to me and others for many years now. And I, I think things have changed. I think a lot of the tide has changed because in the end, most of the things we build have to integrate with AI. And if you're coding that out, you're still at a loss. And if you made it this far, just remember, two books in PHP and Laravel, PHP and LLMs, two companies, both of them Drupal, and then one of them was Laravel with a little Ruby on Rails. I worked at Pfizer building systems there, both serverless and Laravel for many years. I've been a cheerleader for many for PHP and Laravel for over the years. So I'm not coming at this. I had to get rid of all of that because I'm just like, I got to rethink some things. And I'm just telling you right now, it's a great time to be a builder. It's a great time to use these tools, watch YouTube, learn, watch people who don't know how to build, watch people who never have developed it before and learn how they approach these problems because we complicate things. And if you can learn to simplify things and use these tools, and it's, you're just going to be better off. All right, that's it. Now for some more productive videos after this.